Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Cody Brundage versus Abdul Rizik Al Hassan. This to me is the main the fight that I'm really, really looking forward to. We got some good wins on good good fights on here, good ones on here, but this fight right here could be a lot of fun. Cody Brundage, Cody Brundage 10 and 6, 2 and 3 in his last five fights. Just fought Bo Nickel two months ago. Of course he's coming back soon. Bo Nichols, whatever. 30 years old, 6 foot tall with a 72 inch reach. Fighting Abdul, who's 12 and 6, 2 and 3 in his last five fights. Win one, lose one, win one, lose one, win one, lose one. If everybody, if people don't know, a couple years ago, Abdul was accused of some ridiculous things. Came out in the courts that was completely falsified. When I believe he was about 30. Took two years. He may have even been 31, 32. Took two years away from his career. And he really just hasn't been able to get that groove back that he once had. And yes, he's fought some decent opponents. Sure, fine. But it took away. The Nico Price one was 2018. He came back and fought at Manier 2020. So about two years, I think, actually. Yep, two months from two years. So, yeah, not great. But if you, if you look... He fought Amari Akhmedov, who he, he ended up losing by split decision, as we see right here. Destroyed Charlie Ward, Ward, Ward. you know, had some crazy knockouts before that. Um, be, uh, had a fight with Sabai Mahasi, Mah mm, Hamasi, Sabai Hamasi. Uh, I believe Herb Dean ref that fight, and. Uh, some controversy. He was, he was, they were, you know, Abdul was swinging at him. He went down to get a single leg, and right, the referee stepped in between, thinking he was knocked down. It was not. They fight again. He, in it's a crazy knockout. Hits him with an uppercut and then flexes on him. Beautiful. And then he comes out, fights Nico Price. When Nico Price was 12 and 1, absolutely flatlines him with a couple punches against the cage destroys him and it was it's glory it's a glorious knockout then he fights a min, uh, like i said benir laziz loses by decision after coming back fights ks williams only time he's ever been finished with punches then he fights uh, jacob malcolm loses by again by decision then he fights <laughs> alessio de Cherico, loses by head uh, beats him by head kick in 17 seconds shows how ridiculous his power is Fights Joaquin Buckley in a fight that I think a lot of people thought uh, Abdul won, including me. And then he destroys Claudio Roberio because he's bad. Loses to, to Joe Pfeiffer, but had some success. Just didn't defend the takedowns very well in that matchup. This is a guy that either wins by knockout or loses a decision. I mean, that's, that's really what it is. 11 TKOs in the first round. The only second round KO that he has is the uh, Claudio Ribeiro one right here in the second round. 28 seconds. And he's fighting the guy in Cody Brundage. Like I said, he's 10 and 6. Um, uh, you know, 8 finishes, but he's also been finished 4 times. He's been finished 3 times in the UFC. He's 4 and 5 in the UFC. And I don't think Abdul's is much better in the UFC record wise, six and six. What makes me really go with Abdul in this matchup is the consistent issue that Cody Brundage has to not for three rounds or fully stay committed to a game plan. He consistently just makes a mistake. And with Abdul, unless you can get him out of there or unless you can just get the takedowns whenever you want, he has big power. And if he decides to let him go on Cody, and if Cody can't, you know, move out of the way really because his footwork's not great, Abdul can hit him, he can hurt him, and they can put him away. I really like Abdul in this one. I think his knockout power and his striking could do some really good things. I want to see Abdul win, but he is 38 years old. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you are picking. I'll see you in the next one.